Uh, good day, everybody. Um, as Steve mentioned in his last Chief Officer's update, he's taken a well-earned break and I've got the opportunity to be your Acting Chief for the next 10 weeks. So I'm really pleased to be in that position. I'm pleased to be giving uh, my first update to you as the Acting Chief Officer. I'll start by acknowledging the incredible work that occurred across the state last Friday. Uh, just after the Chief handed the keys to me, um, we had some fires start uh, under very difficult conditions, wind-driven events that uh, developed very quickly and it never ceases to amaze me how CFA is so effective at mobilising so many good resources in such a quick time frame. So well done to all of you. Uh, as I said, there were very trying conditions. Um, there was significant damage, but could have been a lot worse but for your efforts. So thank you for all your work in that regard. In the broader operational picture, um, we've got uh, 64 fires now that you've been able to bring under control. There's only one of those listed as still going and two listed as uh, contained, so there's still a little bit more work to do on those. But the good news is that the intention is for the end of this week, this Friday, for all of those fires to transition back to agency command. So that's a significant uh, milestone in our summer. But I'd also like to reiterate that we're not out of it yet. We've still got uh, some fire weather predicted for later this week. So just remember that all of Victoria is still under the fire danger period. So we're, we're not out of the summer yet. Um, but we're getting a step closer each day, so well done for all your work in that regard. A fit for duty is topical uh, across the organisation, I'm fully aware of that. Um, I'd like to give you a further update on that, and that'll be coming to you shortly. But I just want to remind everybody that our focus around fit for duty remains your safety. We want you to volunteer for us for many years to come. We want you to be able to go home to your family safe at night. So that's what the focus is all about. But we are listening to the feedback that we're getting on the trial. And uh, we want to make it a program that works well for you. So more to come on that shortly. So daylight saving ends this weekend. And as we wind our clocks back, we'll be commencing our smoke alarm messaging campaign. So keep an eye out for that. Again, I'll reiterate, uh, just because we're starting to talk about safety in house fires, that doesn't mean we're out of the summer, but it's, it's timely that we start getting people to prepare for the colder weather. So just a reminder, this weekend in Bendigo, we've got the Rural Championships. That's for both juniors and seniors. So good luck to all the brigades that are competing there. Uh, stay safe and I hope you have a great weekend uh, and friendly rivalry.